conditions as figure below except. Very good. It will not cause perforation. So this is that. Unless there is increase of IOP, this will not cause perforation. What is the diagnosis? What you are looking at? It is a ciliary staphyloma in patients of rheumatoid arthritis. What is this? This is your scleromalacia pulpi. Okay. Exam question. What type of scleritis it is? It is necrotizing scleritis without inflammation. Okay. Anti scleritis. Of course, anti scleritis. And no, why, why do you answer B? Because it is a scleromalacia perforans and scleritis, it is causing ectasia. That is what is ciliary staphyloma. If you remember, we have learned this, that ciliary staphyloma, one of the causes is scleritis. This is what we see here. Okay? So it is a ciliary staphyloma. Okay? So staphylomas, I hope you all remember, na? we have just learned about pathological myopia and posterior staphyloma. Right? So, this diagram you shouldn't forget. If it comes from the cornea, this is anterior staphyloma. From the limbus, this is called intercalary staphyloma. Remember this? This is your ciliary staphyloma. Then equatorial and finally posterior. Posterior pathological myopia. And it is most common. Correct? And ciliary generally happens due to the scleritis. Anterior will generally causes pseudocorneas. This is intercalary any peripheral corneas. Equatorial against scleritis. Main cause. That was quick about staphyloma. What are the different types? It's an ectatic condition and treatment is staphyloma. Okay, we come to the next. What are you looking at? So this is very important. I was mentioning this. This is your KF ring. This is your Flesher's ring. So this is Kaser pleasure, this is pleasure. Don't forget this. So Kaser pleasure, we know we are talking about Wilson's disease. We are talking about copper in Desmith membrane. When you talk about pleasure's ring, we are talking about keratoconus. We are talking about iron deposition on the epithelium. Iron is always deposited in epithelium. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So that was this slide. Next slide. Which is not seen in keratoconus? Which is not seen in keratoconus? Answer this question. Yes, very good. Half stria is a feature of congenital glaucoma. That is bophthalma. Bophthalmos. Yeah? Right. So we know what do you see in keratoconus is Volk's stria. So here you are. This is the Volk's stria. This is a feature of keratoconus. So very easy. Vox is parallel to the steep axis. V for V. Vox is vertical. And halves is horizontal. Okay. So what is this? This is your prominent corneal nerves due to corneal thinning. This is again a feature of keratoconus. Prominent corneal nerves. This was also exam question. This is not happening due to thickening of nerves. It is happening due to thinning of the cornea. Right. Okay, what is this? We all know we are talking about Munson sign, V shaped deformity of lower lid on looking down in keratin. And this we have just learnt is oil droplet reflex, which is seen where in distant direct ophthalmoscope. In distant direct ophthalmoscope. Okay.